Do you like to dance? I've heard that there's this dance called the horizontal dance. I think we should try it. Unfortunately, I've never seen anyone do it before. I'm glad that's sorted. Before Jarls and Moots. Back to the time when the king was a king because his enemies fell before him. Rose because they loved him. Skyrim needs that king. You will be that king, Ulfric. You must be. You're certain you found it. When have I ever been false with you? Fine. I'll send the unblooded here with you. Fancy a crawl through a moldering dungeon to see if you can't stir up Garmar's jagged crown. It will be there. You'll see. You're alive. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us. A hero of the people. A true son of Skyrim. A Stormcloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Now you're one of us, which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. Oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. Watch yourself out there. Keep your eyes open. Mm. Reasons. Since when does a man need a reason to protect his family, to defend his homeland? It's the damn Outlanders and Empire that need the reasons. I oppose tyranny. I oppose those who tell me how to live, what to think, and what to believe. I am a man. Skyrim is man's homeland. That is a fact. A fact I'm proud of. There is no shame in that. Read your history. Enough talk. There's much to do. I have found the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. Can you believe it? Well, I'm almost certain. We're headed to Corvanjoon. But if old King Borgus is indeed buried there, we're bound to run into trouble of some kind. Your fellow Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there as soon as I'm finished up here. Don't wait around for me. Why are you still here? You're supposed to be at Corvignon, proving Garmar right, or proving him wrong. As you wish. What's on your mind? Well... 
wasn't born to be a soldier. I never thought of following in my father's footsteps because I know how it ended. A man dead, his family in need. And the ones who caused that war sitting at a table stuffing their bellies. I don't want that for myself. On the other hand, I understand that it may be just my own trauma, and that you want the freedom of the people of Skyrim. I'll help you in whatever way I can. You can count on me if you choose to enlist in your ranks. As you wish. Yes, I'm listening. Which song? Sure, why not? We give drink to the youth for years yet to go. We age huh? of dragons is just about done. We'll drive out the people and pay what we owe. With your blood and your I'm right money, behind you. We'll send them back home. Down Lead on. When the big ugly I'm beast. listening, honey. Drink and we'll feast. What's on your mind? My father used to tell me many stories about Isgrimor, and he mentioned something about the jagged crown. King Borgus was the last of his dynasty, and after his death, the first Nordic Empire came to an end. I don't believe in superstitions, but I hope it brings more luck to Ulfric. Aye, they say it's made with dragon bones and fangs. Can you believe it? If it's on King Borgus's head, it must be truly impressive. So, let's go slay some bandits. Very well. I'm all ears. Well, not literally, of course. Time to move, I guess. Hail, Ilfil! Ha! <laughs> I knew you'd join up! Great news! We'll take back Skyrim together, eh? I'm glad I'll have you beside me in there. This place chills my blood, and I don't care who knows it. These old ruins. My father always told me to stay away from them. Good advice, I'd say. But never mind all that. We've got a job to do. And nothing's going to stand in our way. Hail, Galmar. What's the situation? Cold as the inside of an ice rink. You must be the new unblooded. Welcome to the fight, brother. Stay nice and warm around their fires. Imperials? Well, if they're keeping themselves comfortable, let's slip in and send them to their graves that way. <laughs> I 
bet this will be a great story to tell in the tavern later. Now this is my idea of an adventure. Danger around every turn, uncertainty lurking in every shadow, and a trustworthy companion at my side. What can I do for you? All right then. Do you need something, honey? That's the way I like it. Short and bloody. They never knew what hit them. But do not make the mistake of underestimating the Legion. Plenty of them are Nords, same as us. We had the advantage of surprise this time, but things won't be so easy from here on out. Enough talk. Let's go kill some Imperials. Fight, or die well. May the gods watch over your battles, friend.
Stick around here for a while and see if we can find anything else useful. Is everything all right? Hey, have you ever imagined taking the Jagged Crown to solitude? I bet they'd accept you as their soldier. But what kind of traitor would do that, right? Sure thing. Shouldn't be here. Soon enough, we will march on Solitude. The Imperials have really dug into Whiterun. We're rested from them soon enough. We must. Its central position is key. Damn him! That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? Oh. 
the blood of our fallen heroes will make Skyrim free. Never doubt it. Also, never doubt me or Garmar. Now then, I'm glad you're here. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of White Rock. Deliver this axe to Balgruff the Greater. Men who understand each other often have no need for words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Balgruff will know my meaning. Keep your wits about you. The Jarl of Whiterun is known for his temper. I thought I gave you something to do. Not entirely true, though not entirely false either. Any Nord can learn the way of the voice by studying with the Greybeards, given enough ambition and dedication. My shouting toward to the ground proved he had neither. However, it was my sword piercing his heart that killed him. To White Run with you. Mary Dominion, they shamed us all. Whisked me away to a life of adventure and romance. Well, well, look who it is. How have you been? Did he now? Huh. The man is persistent. I'll give him that. I suppose it's time I give him an answer. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Ireleth. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or march his storm cloaks up to the gates. He'll do no such thing. A dagger in the back is all you could expect. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him! That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King, but neither Ooh, that armor must be difficult to polish. To 
challenge my rule in the old way. Let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly then to accept the white gold concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about the gold! It's time to decide. Go, wait. Let's see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Fine. So about this axe. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Windhelm has my answer. Make sure he gets it. Proventus, bring me my pen and the good parchment. Are we writing a letter, Lord? Yes, to General Talius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires of his. Hey there! Is everything all right? Yes, there will be brave souls lost on this day. But maybe Ulfric's got what it takes to set Skyrim free. Like I said, I'll be by your side, fighting with honor. You know, I've never seen war. Don't know what's waiting for us. And if we fall, well, maybe I'll meet my old man in Sovngarde, knowing we gave our lives for the same cause. All Keep right, safe. Then. The alchemist in Skyrim will buy anything that comes in a potion bottle. <laughs> Can you believe I made money by urinating in a bottle and calling it Potion of Youth? <laughs> oh, I had to stop though, when I got chased out of town by the shop owner. <laughs>